Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football. Uh, we'll call it a uh, second quarter pregame show or pregame update show. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's Monday Night Football Week Two, and it's a very special one because the LA, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders are squaring off with the uh, New Orleans Saints. And Elijah Stadium makes its Monday night debut tonight, and uh, we're gonna break. I'm gonna break down the game, give you my thoughts and what I feel needs to happen, and uh, we're gonna go over all of yesterday's NFL action. And uh, but until then, but uh, before that, here is today's uh, Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football trivia question. No team had ever appeared on ABC's Monday Night Football. Every season between 1970 and 1999. However, that stretch there were were two teams that appeared on the show every year except for one. One was the Oakland Raiders slash Los Angeles Raiders, now who are the Las Vegas Raiders. Who was the other team to accomplish to accomplish this amazing fate? I'll have the answer <coughs> later on the podcast. Well, it's Monday Night Football Week 2. Are you ready for some football? Well, we have a great matchup for you tonight, as I mentioned. The New Orleans Saints and uh, the Las Vegas Raiders will square off at Elijah Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, which seats, uh, seats 65,000 fans. But there are not many fans in right now. But when they are allowed, fans, are going to enjoy, fans in Las Vegas are going to enjoy it, and they're going to love it. And uh, uh, the Saints are coming off a big win uh, over the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers in week one. Excuse me. Uh, the Saints have a uh, gapping, gapping hole on offense tonight. The Saints offense will uh, take the field without Michael Thomas for the first time since his 2016 rookie season. Thomas, who was declared out Saturday with an ankle injury, is uh, such a unique player uh, that is doubtful the Saints can simply plug and play with someone else, uh, else in his unusual spot. But they need to find uh, one of the other players on offense to take his spot on the Saints offense tonight. So hopefully uh, one of those players will, and they have somebody that can, hopefully. And uh, quarterback Drew Brees, could this be his last chance at a Super Bowl season? Uh, expect Breeze to have a big night against the Raiders tonight. And expect the uh, uh, Saints offense to really uh, uh, jump out and score early and really uh, keep the Raiders on their toes. And, ex and just expect the defense to really keep the pressure on the Raiders offense. And uh, i got to tell you, I, I'm going with the Saints to win this one. And I'm going to give Saints 34, Raiders 27. Media says it's going to be a low-scoring affair, but I don't see that happening. But we'll see what happens tonight. <coughs> Meanwhile, the Raiders are coming off a big win over the Carolina Panthers in uh, Week 1. Uh, Raiders QB Derek Carr says he is ready to start tonight's game against the Saints. Carr says expect him to have a really big game against the Saints. Uh, uh, Drew Brees and expect to keep the Saints offense on their toes. And uh, If the Raiders want to win this uh, game tonight, they're going to have to jump on the Saints early and really score points early. And, uh, and his offense uh, are going to have to score touchdowns from in the, in the red zone as well as in the end zone. And uh, Carr has uh, to really run the pocket, and the defense really needs to keep the pressure on the Saints offense and Saints quarterback Drew Brees. Now, uh, right now, the Saints are leading 3 0 uh, at the end of the first quarter. It's now in the second quarter. And, actually, it's 10 0, excuse me, in the second quarter because the Saints scored a touchdown in the second quarter. My mistake. It's 10 0 Saints right now. And uh, But the Raiders really need to keep the Saints on their toes if they really want to win this one. And they've got to uh, really have one of those games where things have to go their way. And they've got to have a good performance from uh, Derek Carr as well as the players on offense and defense 
uh, as well. Uh, We'll go over all of uh, tonight, uh, all of yesterday's NFL action in just a moment. Uh, but first, it's time now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football trivia question. No team had ever appeared on ABC's Monday Night Football every season between 1970 and 1999. However, during that stretch, there were two teams that appeared on the show every year, <clears throat> except for one. One was the Oakland slash LA Raiders, who are now the Las Vegas Raiders. Who was the other team to accomplish this amazing uh, uh, fate? And if you said the Miami Dolphins, you are correct. <clears throat> After appearing on the show every year since its start, the Miami Dolphins finally missed the cut, so to speak, in 1989. Uh... But they, however, they would rejoin the show in 1990 and continue to appear every year throughout, through to the end of the 90s, the 1990s, excuse me. As for the Raiders, they almost made the show every season, but their one missed appearance happened in 1998. They returned to the Monday Night Spotlight a year later. And now I have another trivia question on my next podcast. So stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, well, uh, we're going to go over all of uh, uh, yesterday's NFL action. Uh you already know that uh, from Thursday night last Thursday, the Browns beat the Bengals in the in the Battle of Ohio, 35 to 30. They're one and one, and they'll have the Washington Football Team coming in here this Sunday and try to go to two and one. Uh, the Chicago Bears go to two and zero oh with a 17 to 13 win over the Giant, over the New York Giants at Soldier Field, and the Giants had opportunities, but they just could not take advantage of them. The uh, L.A. Rams go to 2-0. They get a big win over the Philadelphia Eagles, 37-19 at Lincoln Financial Field in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Dallas Cowboys at AT&T Stadium come back down from being down 26-7, and Greg, kicker Greg Zerling kicked a game-winning, a 46-yard game-winning field goal to beat the Atlanta Falcons by... One, 40 to 39. The Atlanta Falcons had their largest lead. They had a, uh, a uh, 19 point lead and uh, and then it was a uh, and then they, it was Dallas was up to, the uh, Atlanta was up 26 to 10 because Dallas had scored a touchdown. And then they were up uh, I think it was 33 uh, to 10 and it was a, a 20 point lead for uh, for, uh, for uh, Atlanta. But then Dallas came back. They kept... And Atlanta had their largest lead and could not hold on to, to win the game. They had it and they blew it. And Dallas could not afford to beat 0-2. Uh, and, and they go to 1-1. One and one, and uh, Atlanta is, I think, also 1-1. Uh, one one. The uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers... Uh, get their uh, uh, get their first win of the season over the Carolina Panthers, 31 to 17, to go to one and one. Panthers fall to 0 and 2 at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, and uh, Tom Brady got the game ball in that one. Had a big game. The uh, San Francisco 49ers uh, got an easy win over the New York Jets, 31 to 13. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was out with a knee injury. Uh, for, uh, we have, for I don't know how long. Hopefully they'll get him back eventually. And Nick Boza is out with an ACL and Achilles tendon injury for the rest of the season. And that's really going to... The 49ers with having two of their players out. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers go to 2-0 with their win over the uh, Denver Broncos, 26-21 at Heinz Field in uh, Pittsburgh. The Tennessee Titans go to... Uh, 
uh, 2-0, and they uh, beat the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars 33-3. to, uh, to 30. Uh, uh, Titans win last. Yeah, they go to two and zero. I just wanted to check that out. Uh, the uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers beat the Detroit Lions. Much different performance by the Packers than in Week One, but they beat them forty-two to twenty-one at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And uh, I had to give the game balls to Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones. So they just had a big day with the, the uh, Buffalo Bills beat the Miami Dolphins 31-28 at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Miami tried to come back, but they just could not overcome that big deficit to get the win. The Minnesota Vikings go to 0-2 for the first time since 2015 after losing to, to the Indianapolis Colts 28-11. And I had to give the game ball to Phil Rivers. He had a big day. And uh, the Vikings, they're struggling right now. So hopefully they can come back from this 0-2 deficit. The uh, Arizona Cardinals, they go to 2-0. They beat the Washington football team 30-15. to And the Browns will have them this Sunday, the Washington football team. And I had to give the Ky Kyler Murray, I had to give the game ball to. The uh, Baltimore Ravens all over the... Houston Texans 33 to 16 at NRG Stadium uh, yesterday, and I had to give the game ball to Lamar Jackson, and so he got the game ball in that one. And the Kansas City Chiefs beat the LA Chargers by a field goal in overtime, 23 to 20 at SoFi Stadium in LA, in Inglewood, California, near LA. And last night's Sunday night football game, the Seattle Seahawks. Beat the New England Patriots 35-30. to And this is a tight game between the Seahawks and Patriots. But I had to give the game ball to Russell Wilson and Chris Carson, DK Metcalf, and Tyler Lockett. I had to give the game balls to them. And right now, the Saints are beating the Raiders 10 to nothing in Elijah Stadium in Las Vegas. Uh, in tonight's game right now. And right now, my brother-in-law and I, Eric Coyle, are both 14-1 and in our picks. We both are taking the Saints for tonight's game, and if they do win, they will. We will both be tied at 15 and one. We'll end up in another tie. So, uh, I we really are are tied on these picks this week. We're tied again. So, uh, this is one of those. It's been one of those weeks again. A lot of high scoring games in week one, but expect this to be. Uh, I, I think lot media saying a low scoring affair between the Saints and Raiders. But it could be a, a me. I'm saying a medium high scoring affair. So we'll see what happens. Well, that's just about gonna wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football uh, update uh, pregame show. Uh, I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football postgame show once the Monday Night Football game between the Saints and Raiders has concluded. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day. Anyway, possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.